It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wiper and True and it's a bottle of their Mosaic India Pale Ale coming in at 7.1% ABV. Hops of course are Mosaic. The yeast is Sure Brew YSO20 Vermont yeast and the malts are Pale Barley, Flaked malt, Malted Oats, Oats and Wheat. Sounds good. Didn't have to write any of that down. It's all on the back of the bottle. So I sounded professional. Let's look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Gonna leave a little bit of beer in the bottom of that bottle because being using Vermont yeast, it looks like it wants to be a, be a bit of a hazy number. It is golden amber in colour. We were just about to get a bit of that yeast in and make it nice and cloudy, but we run out of space in the glass. That's to come. One finger whitehead, good levels of carbonation. The beer is available from imperialbeerclub.co.uk. Sorry, dot com. Imperialbeerclub.com. My mistake. It's a £42 a month beer club where you have 10 beers over, the generally over 8% and imperial strength beers and you don't know what you're getting each month. So it's a bit of a surprise each month, uh, this mixed case arriving on your door. A bit like Christmas every month, if you're into beer. Why wouldn't you be into beer? You wouldn't be here otherwise, would you? The other thing they do is an, is, a, is an online beer store where you can just browse, order beers at your will and pay delivery free and get them delivered. That's really good. So check out the, the link in the description box of the video for imperialbeerclub.com and order some beer. Let's get the aroma. It smells really good, really good, nice and hoppy. Citrusy, grapefruity, a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of spice in there. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. It's really good, really good. Got a bit of room now to get this, this bit of yeast in. I want to make sure I'm benefiting from the whole hog here. Wow, look at the yeast. Look at the bits and pieces now floating in the bottom of the glass. Look at that. Okay. So with the Vermont IPA, especially using Vermont yeast, you want to throw it all in. It does say, actually it does say pour gently. So, so you, I could have left that out. But knowing what I know about Vermont IPAs, they're meant to be hazy, so it would give it a bit of unjust, I think, if, if, if we poured it out and it, and it wasn't hazy. So, so I made that call myself. I don't mind the, the big lumps of yeast in the bottom of the glass. It's full of vitamin B. I don't drink with my eyes. I drink with my mouth. Grapefruity, orange peel, fleshy, blood orange, lots of spice coming in on the back end. It's actually improved the beer. It was a bit, it was a touch toffee-ish in the first taste, but now I've managed to get all of that yeast in the glass. It has made a bit of a difference. It's, 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 it's somehow the hops are a little bit more pronounced in the beer. I often find that when you do get all of the beer from the bottle into the glass, you're giving yourself that 100% experience that the brewer wanted you to try the beer. I know they say pour gently. It's entirely up to you. If you want a clearish glass of beer, fine, leave some of that yeast out. If you don't mind, if you don't mind drinking a lot of that vitamin B, then just get it down you, enjoy it. Don't drink with your eyes, drink with your mouth. It doesn't really matter what a beer looks like anymore. So many f fashionable, Fashionable, not the word, popular cloudy beers at the moment. It 
It's lovely and refreshing. You wouldn't know you were really drinking a 7.1% ABV beer. Uh, it drinks remarkably well. Nice biscuity malts. Lovely hoppy taste. Easy drinking. I could just smash this, smash the rest of that down. Um, it's just one of them lovely refreshing brews. The head's kept itself nicely. Nicely carbonated. Lovely, lovely brew. Let's talk about the bitterness quickly. It's more flavour. It's a flavour up from beer and then you have that little bit of bitterness on the back end. Just a touch of bitterness. It's a fantastic beer. Mosaic IPA by Wiper and True. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.